Strange is a very natural bridge between uh, what we know of New York, or what we know of our sensual, sensory, you know, perceivable reality and something well beyond that. And so he, I think it's kind of right, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of the right moment now for him to be the character that we now get introduced to, to open up that chapter of the Marvel Universe. I came at Doctor Strange um, and the comics of Doctor Strange through people being interested in me for the role in the film. And I found him incredibly arrogant, brilliant, sort of extraordinary, and with the potential to be incredibly hokey because it was very much a comic of its era, like they always are. So this superhero came out of a context in the 60s and 70s of experimental drug taking of a bleed between Western science and logic and Eastern mysticism, which is, you know, something as a teenager I was very interested in. I spent some time teaching in a Tibetan Buddhist monastery near Darjeeling and read things like uh, Fritz Joff Capra's um, uh, Dawa physics. I read motorcycle, uh, the Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, as well as studying Buddhist texts and reading up on certain things, you know, scientific books like cosmology, trying to get through a brief history of time, um, and observing this extraordinary ancient ritual and wisdom right in front of me every morning and every evening, and talking to those monks in that monastery, talking to lamas in the towns around and about who had um, other experiences with other sects or had better English and were able to sort of unpack what I was witnessing every day. and. So my mind as a teenager, as a 19-year-old, was kind of really blown open by all of that. So it immediately made sense to me, this material. He is arrogant to the point of being unlikable, but yet somehow you should still like him. He's got a great deal of charm, and there is already a sense of loss or soullessness, I think, about him very early on in the film. You see him as a lone figure at the beginning and end of this film. By the end of the film, he's a superhero, and we all know that's quite an onerous task and often requires quite a solitary existence. Um, not too many people you can you know, pillow talk with or you know, form meaningful relationships when, you're, when your responsibilities are always other and elsewhere. It's extraordinary to step into all of these environments. I mean, even the environments at the beginning of the film, that the surgeries were so detailed, accurate, beautifully lit and beautifully manageable as playing spaces, but still, you know, very, specifically attended to as places that could possibly carry out some neurosurgery minus the 21st century unscrubbed up film crew in it. Um, you know, procedurally we were going through drills um, with Dr. Harkness and we would, there was also a fantastic um, uh, nurse um, on set. A lot of the extras had practiced in medicine or surgery. Um, so I had a great deal of expertise floating around in that room and you never felt uh, at sea or incapable of asking a, a, a sort of you know, important question about what to do and how to do what you had to do. Nepal was amazing. Kathmandu was absolutely vital to this film. I think not least because it's so based in something that is exotic and other and to have that experience as a film crew when you know we're spending a lot of time together a lot of time on sets and and simulacrums of all these wonderful exotic places and uh uh cities you know we it was a very bonding experience it was a very bonding experience for all of us as a crew to be able to play off tilda swinton mads mickelson rachel mcadams michael and Chiotel, i mean Really, really, really spoiling. Really fantastic. Uh, very flattering as well and very securing. I think Scott's one of the main reasons that this project atta attracted such a, a, a brilliantly talented cast. He's great on process. He's really good on um, going through a great, a great sort of uh, volume of detail about characterization. You really feel very safe in his hands about who you're playing and why you're playing what you're playing. 